What's up, here we are, and welcome to Totally Todd's Guitar Wild with your host, Totally Todd. That's me. In this video, we are going to play the song Jam Man. Jam Man, not this Jam Man. But before we get started with anything like that, jam on down to the subscribe button for future videos such as this, where you're gonna learn perhaps nothing, but be thoroughly entertained. This song is in an insurance commercial. I will not mention the brand name, but it's an insurance commercial. Rest assured, this is a great example because it's some chords that we already know. It's not too difficult, and yeah, it's a good place to start with the alternating bass. <laughs> notes. We have like a bass line going and some chords and together they sound great. This is a style that I've been playing my entire life with the alternating bass line or bass notes, whatever you want to call it, with some melody up top and I separate the top three strings, E, A, D, those are kind of my bass, G, B, E are my guitar and melody instrument, and all six of them can be the general chord of the song. That's kind of the way I uh, separate it. Because sometimes, even with this, you kind of have to separate the two somewhere. And I just do it right in the middle. So let's go for the chords of the song. A minor, G, the A version of C. Thinking about the cage system. And then G7, and G, sharp diminish seven beautiful chord and then F but it's really just this like F uh, octave thing E and then a minor okay let me just play it through and then we can break it down and kind of tell you what I'm doing Beautiful. We'll start slow and maybe not necessarily pick. Um, we'll just kind of strum it. Uh, I am not using a pick. I don't have a thumb pick in the house. So you can try it with a thumb pick. Maybe we'll do another video on that. You could also hybrid pick. Um, sounds great too, but let's just do it with something that you don't need to find underneath your couch cushion right now to continue the lesson. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my thumb. I try not to use specific fingers or even think about it. Okay, for the bass parts, I kind of do thumb, but I don't really assign, unless it's something insanely technical, which this isn't, and you can kind of just play it how you want. I just let it kind of fall in place and think more about what's going on with my left hand. Feel free to comment any question and I will definitely address it, but this is just the way I do it and this is the way I'm teaching it. Okay, so we have, for the top three strings, it's the boom chick, boom chick, boom chick, and that's with my thumb. And I'm playing an A minor right here, and I'm gonna go A, uh, A second fret on the D, open E, back to that second fret on the D. So it's A, E, 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 A. And in the key of A, the fifth is E. So that's the boom chicka boom. And this little thing just toggles back and forth is how I look at it. So do that for a while. And you throw in the rest of the A minor. So that's the general vibe without really necessarily picking it. You're kind of doing something with the low strings. Now let's take it the next step further. And there's some stabs going on where the first one is gonna be and the second one is gonna be. Now for the G, I'm 
plucking the E string, the G string, and the B string. Just open. So I pluck those three notes and then open D, the fifth. Next, we have the C major chord. And that's the same exact pattern as the A. G7. To G sharp diminished 7. Do that again. Now here we go, disco Chet Atkins style. F to the octave. Octave to play the A minor chord. There you have it, the first of many finger picking instructional videos and uh, demonstrations. It might be fun to go further into this song with my looper pedal and kind of play the rest of the song. Feel free to comment other songs you want to go over or questions you have about this as a one way lesson can be kind of hard to explain some of the finger picking stuff, but I will do my damnedest. Uh, cool. See you there. Bye-bye.